Hey everyone, my name is Ryan, and I'm excited to share my plan to revitalize Old Spice and capture a new generation of customers. Today, we'll explore how to evolve this iconic brand for the modern market while retaining its core strengths. Old Spice is a name we all know and associate with humor and affordability, but with a new generation of consumers and a growing competitive landscape, it's time to reimagine how Old Spice presents itself to the world. As someone who loves bold marketing and effective brand strategy, I'm passionate about ensuring Old Spice stays relevant for years to come. My goal with this plan is to show how carefully targeted changes can have a huge impact on the brand's appeal and market share. To that end, let's dive into the details. First, we need to understand what challenges the brand is facing and how we can overcome them to create a truly successful revitalization strategy. As you can see, our focus today is on Old Spice's deodorant and body washes. These core products are where the brand has built its reputation for effectiveness, playful advertising, and affordability. Old Spice has tremendous amount of brand recognition, particularly among older demographics. This is a huge asset, but our challenge is to bridge that familiarity with a new generation of consumers who may perceive Old Spice as outdated. So while we have a foundation to work with, we need to address some key issues in order to make Old Spice truly resonate with younger men. Let's take a look at what those challenges are. The men's grooming market has become quite crowded. New competitors focused on natural ingredients or subscription-based models are appealing to younger consumers, seeking something different from their traditional brands. This trend is significant with the global natural men's grooming market projected to grow at a rate of over 10% in the next few years. Additionally, consumers' preference are shifting. Self-expression and individuality are key drivers, and brands that reflect those values are gaining traction. Old Spice's traditional humor may not align perfectly with this shift. So how do we reposition Old Spice to be the go-to choice for this generation? Let's look at the key solutions I've identified. First is modernizing the brand's image and how crucial that is. This means updated packaging, a fresher website, and an advertising style that is still fun but reflects current sensibilities. Second is building a strong community and how powerful of a marketing tool that is, especially with younger consumers. This means engaging with them on social media, perhaps through ambassador programs or collaborations that align with their interest. It's also essential to highlight values that resonate with our target market. Old Spice is cruelty-free and emphasizing the commitment to conscious consumption can win over a new customer. In fact, a recent study found that 83% of Gen Z consumers are more likely to choose brands that reflect their personal values. With these solutions in mind, we can transform Old Spice's image while still retaining its sense of fun, making it the desirable and relevant choice for the next generation of men's grooming. Next, let's look at the organizational and agency structure that will make this plan a success. Given Old Spice's established name and resources, a centralized ad system is vital for a strong, consistent message across our platforms. Consistency is crucial during brand revitalization to avoid confusing customers about the brand's new image and to solidify their understanding of this evolution. A full-service agency is the optimal choice for Old Spice, providing both strategic expertise at every stage and creative resources to turn that strategy into a compelling campaign. This depth of service is essential to address the multifaceted needs of the project, from researching target demographics to crafting and engaging ads across different mediums. With younger consumers so heavily engaged online, a specialized in-house focus on digital marketing is crucial. This team, working within the broader agency structure, ensures constant, high-quality content creation, community responsiveness, and targeted influencer collaborations. This dedicated digital team guarantees consistent engagement with Gen Z and millennia audiences on their preferred platform. Additionally, in-house production capabilities for video and other visual content are another significant strength. Old Spice's ads have always heavily relied on strong visuals and humor, so having an in-house resource allows for tighter control over the brand's tone and faster production timelines for the quick and relevant responses to online trends. The combination of a centralized ad structure, a full-service agency, and a specific in-house expertise ensures that Old Spice has the know-how and resources necessary to succeed. It allows us to target our new demographic effectively while maintaining the qualities that given that give Old Spice its lasting appeal. Now let's look at how we'll work with this agency to ensure their efforts are incentivized and aligned with our goals. To ensure our agency is both invested and accountable, I propose a fee commission combination structure. This approach aligns the agency's financial motivation with the rejuvenation campaign's performance and outcomes. 
Compensation model will be built around key metrics like brand awareness, social media engagement, and reach, and even website traffic and sales conversions. Exceeding targets in these areas will, additional, will trigger additional compensation for the agency, fostering their drive to deliver exceptional work. This model also ties into the broader company's performance through pre-agreed upon benchmarks. For instance, achieving the target 5% gain in market share would result in bonus compensation. This aligns the agency's goals with Old Spice's overall objectives. By creating the shared investment in the revitalization effort, we foster a deeper, more collaborative partnership with the agency. It pushes both sides to deliver the very best work, benefiting both reputations and results. Now, let's explore how a deep understanding of customer decision making can inform a truly effective campaign. For our campaign to succeed, we need to truly understand the consumer mindset. Let's imagine a young man getting ready for a night out. He uses his usual deodorant but realizes it's just not delivering an odor protection. This is a crucial moment of vulnerability that can trigger a shift in brand loyalty. Dissatisfaction with the existing product sparks a search for solutions. This consumer will start to think about what's most important to them. Longer lasting protection, a scent that matches a personality, maybe even a formula for sensitive skin. These needs will shape their search. Their first instinct might be to recall past experiences with Old Spice. Did it work well for them years ago, or did they switch for a reason? This highlights the importance of overcoming any negative pre preconceptions of the brand. This is where external factors become extremely influential. They are consult online reviews for different brands, read forums, recommendations, and even be influenced by a well-placed ad in their social media feed. We need to ensure Old Spice's messaging is visible across these channels. So our campaign needs to not only reach this audience, but also powerfully address their main concern. Finding a deodorant that provides all day confidence. The message must be clear, compelling, and credible in communicating Old Spice's ability to deliver. Let's look at how else we can influence the consumer as they progress through their decision. While we can model the ideal path a consumer takes, the reality is that their decision making process is rarely a straight line. They might see an Old Spice ad online, then remember trying it years back, then check reviews before ultimately comparing it to a competitor's product. That's perfectly normal. Our campaign needs to be visible and engaging at multiple touch points within this fluid journey. A funny Instagram ad might be the first encounter, followed by great online reviews for a specific scent, and then a targeted discount that influences the final purchase. One key step is competitor evaluation. What will make someone choose Old Spice over Axe, Dove, or a newer niche brand such as Dr. Squatch? This is where consistently emphasizing product effectiveness alongside humor is crucial. We need to be the answer to their odor protection needs. Ultimately, the deciding factor will be that leap of faith. The consumer believing that Old Spice offers superior odor protection and long lasting performance. Building that trust even for first time customers needs to be the central message of our revitalized campaign. But the process doesn't end at the purchase. Post purchase evaluation through surveys, tracking social media sentiment, and even monitoring returns are all a part of making sure this revitalization isn't just a one-time sales spike, but the start of lasting brand loyalty from a new generation. Our revitalized Old Spice commercials will still have that signature humor, but adapt for a modern audience. Think less slapstick, more witty self-awareness that aligns with how younger consumers see themselves. This approach is backed by research showing that humorous social media posts receive around 58% more engagement than those without humor. We'll feature a diverse range of men in our ads, showcasing how Old Spice can boost confidence for anyone, regardless of their background or style. These situations will be relatable yet unexpected, grabbing attention in a crowded media landscape. While humor is still vital, it's not the only focus. The new campaign will always highlight product benefits, alongside those laugh out loud moments. We need to hammer home that Old Spice is the best at what it does, offering long lasting protection and fantastic scents. The visuals will be vibrant and bold, with a faster editing style in tune with what younger audiences expect. Music is crucial as well. We'll use current energizing tracks that add the cool factor and avoid anything that feels outdated. Our campaign will run across multiple platforms. Expect a heavy presence on social media with those AI generated ads tailored to different platforms like Instagram and TikTok. We'll also target streaming services with shorter, punchier ad spots. So now let's take a look at the storyboard. So in frame one in the top 
uh, left hand corner it is a young guy in an uninspiring office cubicle looking stressed and smelling well not so great next is over to the middle right and this is frame two he sees a flash of red looks up and find a cool diverse group of guys having a rooftop party then it switches over to said rooftop party and it's a quick montage of the guys one's playing basketball confidently another is giving a killer presentation and someone's on a fun date they're relaxed having a good time and all smelling amazing now the frames will go left to right so in frame four a bottle of redesigned old spice deodorant lands on our cubicle guy's desk with a modernized look in frame five the cubicle guy uses deodorant and a look of determination on his face. In frame six, you cut to him joining the rooftop party, a tr transformed look and has a little bit of swagger and smiling. And then in frame seven is our new Old Spice logo, website address, and a hashtag that says smell legendary. And then it ends. Now within the music, uh, throughout the ad, there's an upbeat, catchy track, not old school, but not overly trendy either. Something that is energizing. Now, how are we going to measure effectiveness? Well, data is our friend during the revitalization effort. To ensure success, we'll combine pre-testing and post-testing methods for our campaign. Pre-testing through focus groups with our target demographic will help refine messaging and humor before the campaign launches. Once the campaign is live, we'll focus on key post-testing metrics. Brand awareness surveys across our target age group will track if we're reaching the right audience and if the campaign leaves a lasting impression. Website analytics and social media insights will provide further data. Are we seeing increased traffic to Old Spice's site? Are people engaging with the content and are using branded hashtags? Tracking all this data isn't just about patting ourselves on the back. It's also about identifying what works best and what might need tweaking mid-campaign. This allows for real-time optimization, maximizing our return on investment. By being proactive about the measurement, we demonstrate the value of this revitalization effort and can justify future marketing initiatives that continue to appeal to younger customers. While our initial focus is the domestic market, global expansion is crucial for lasting growth. Japan is an excellent target for Old Spice as there's a strong culture of male grooming but limited market penetration for the brand. The Japanese market responds to different types of advertising than the US humor and will need to be toned down in favor of messages that emphasize sophistication, cleanliness, and the high quality of Old Spice's scents. It's not just about the advertising, but the full customer experience. Product packaging, website design, and even in-store displays may need to be adapted for Japanese cultural preferences. Collaboration with a local team will be vital for successful localization. One of the most important considerations is respect for cultural norms. We want the Old Spice campaign to feel exciting and new to the Japanese market, not alienating. Striking this balance is key. Entering the Japanese market requires adapting our messaging and approach, but with careful adaptation, the rewards can be significant. It demonstrates Old Spice's ability to evolve and expand globally. Well, thank you everyone for setting sail with me on this journey through the history of Old Spice and how we can revitalize a company into the next generation. I hope you leave here feeling as confident and refreshed as you had just stepped off a yacht. Now go forth and smell amazing. And here in this slide, you can see the three citations that I have for the three different statistics that were required for this presentation. Thank you so much.